guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy haul video, and today we've got a lot of different stuff. Most of it is actually DC Comics stuff, and I do have a few Transformers and a WWE action figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. First up, we have a few Titans Return figures. Uh, these are kind of the Scout class, I guess. They're smaller than Legends figures. Uh, we've got uh, Terra Bull and Loudmouth. And I found these at my local Walmart for $4.95 a piece. They had a few other ones. These were the two that really kind of piqued my interest looking at them on the shelf. Um, I like Terrible from the original series. He was a, a, a bull. Um, unfortunately, he's just a tank here. I think he turned into a tank, a bull, and a robot in the original G1. So, yeah, we'll take a look and see how terrible he really is. <laughs> And then we have Loudmouth. To be honest, I don't recall this figure at all uh, from the G1. I never had him, but I do like the colors, and I like his little car uh, vehicle thing there that looks pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and see how cool they really are. Next up, we have a WWE figure. And if you watch my channel, you know I love me some classic WWE wrestlers. And this is The Undertaker. Now... He showed up late in my wrestling watching when I was a kid back in the late 80s. And uh, I remember him wearing the big brim hat, the black hat, and the black overcoat, white makeup, black around the face. And they've got a whole series of new zombies figures for the WWE, which is really, really cool. Um, there's a whole lineup on them, like The Rock. The only ones they had, they had one Undertaker, they had a couple Triple H's, and uh, they had a Brian Wyatt. Uh, the Rock looks kind of interesting. And um, maybe Paige. I don't know. But I thought this guy, out of all of them, really kind of fit the bill for a zombie for me. And would work pretty decent into my collection. I don't have the figure, so it's kind of cool. And he's definitely going to be saved for Halloween. Next up are the DC Superhero Girls. I've got the majority of these right here. These definitely look pretty cool. Um, I'm going to end up giving these to my girlfriend's daughter. She loves toys. You know, she's a little toddler. And I, I, I just like the idea of, you know, her getting into comic book characters. And they finally making action figures for little girls. So uh, kudos to DC for doing that. Uh, we've got Batgirl here, looking pretty cool. Uh, we've got Supergirl. We've got Wonder Woman. Um, we've got Poison Ivy. And uh, we also have Harley Quinn, which is uh, pretty cool. Now, there's a webisode series that you can watch of these uh, figures online, which is pretty cool. Definitely liking it. And I noticed I was watching a couple of them. The voice actors from the Teen Titan series from Cartoon Network reprise their roles in the little uh, high school uh, cartoon, which is pretty cool. But definitely looking forward to taking a look at these action figures. Hope you guys are too. Next up, we have some more DC superhero girls, and they're more Barbie style esque. We've got a Harley Quinn and a Wonder Woman, and there are two different kinds. This is the more base kind. Uh, reminds me of a Brat doll or a Monster High doll here. And uh, I think this retails for $9.99. And then we also have a Harley Quinn here that retails, I think, for $19.99. But the cool thing about the Harley is she's a, a lot more posable. She's got a lot more detail on her. She comes with a bonus cape inside. Will you find the golden cape? That's kind of interesting. Um, definitely pretty cool. The, this might be one that my girlfriend actually steals from her daughter. And finally, we've got a couple Barbie dolls, actually. This is uh, the Batman and the Superman uh, from uh, Barbie Black Label, Barbie Collector Black Label for Batman vs. Superman. I got these for my girlfriend. She's a huge Barbie fan, and I'd previously gotten her the Wonder Woman Barbie, and uh, the Super Kroger uh, over by my house had these on sale for $18 a piece. So for, you know, both of these was less than the actual retail version uh, for one of these. I think they retailed for about $44, and uh, this was less than $40 for both figures, which was a hell of a deal. And um, I'm liking the Batman on the offset. I think that looks pretty cool. Superman, eh, he's, he's okay, I suppose. 
Um, it'll be cool to see all three of them together. I know she's going to love them, and they're definitely well made. So there it is, my toy haul for August 2016. Definitely keep an eye on my channel for reviews of all these figures coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And as always, look for more videos in the future.